Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. Week number three was one of the crazier weeks of football I've ever seen. One of the higher scoring weeks as well as multiple teams hit 40 points. Several players had multiple touchdowns and uh, it was a huge week if you like scoring and betting the over. But there's also another big week for big injuries and there are some that are definitely affecting the week four NFL odds and beyond. And of course the biggest one coming in in Pittsburgh where Ben Roethlisberger will miss the next four to six weeks. Probably at least a good sign considering how nasty Nasty that injury looked looked like he may have been out for even longer than that, possibly even the season. But right now, these odds are definitely the uh, NFL odds for Thursday night, where the Steelers come on on the short week against the Baltimore Ravens, really moving here. Uh, probably would have come in as the Steelers having a uh, slight three-point edge, which is where they normally uh, battles between the Ravens and the Steelers come in at least um, at least recently. Now the Ravens come in as a minus two and a half road favorite, despite not looking great here. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to have big problems with Michael Vick starting at quarterback. Who knows, Vick may still look pretty good. However, he's not looked great in his last 15 starts or so. You have to think that the Steelers are going to try to manage him as much as possible, run the crap out of the ball with Le'Veon Bell and uh, D'Angelo Williams here. You have to think that they're going to want to keep this game as low scoring as possible without their captain, Ben Roethlisberger. Now, next up, just as big of an injury here, but really a lot more, uh, a lot more cloudy surrounding it here is Drew Brees who uh, right now seems to be day-to-day -day after a positive evaluation by Dr. James Andrews and a nice workout as well, apparently. There's speculation that Drew Brees might be able to play, and while that may be just a little bit optimistic, there is a chance here that Drew Brees could potentially suit up for week number four. Now, the problem with that is there are no NFL odds out right now for their Sunday night battle between them and the Cowboys here. And with the Saints needing a win to really salvage their season, if Drew Brees is ready and medically cleared, you have to think he's going to be out there to try to beat up another team who's lost their starting quarterback for the next couple of months as well. But right now, no line. I suspect if Brees plays, the Saints might be slight favorites in this one. But either way, even if he doesn't play, it's going to be very very low NFL odds here for Sunday night, including a total because uh, either Matt Castle or Brandon Whedon will be starting for the Dallas Cowboys. And finally, on Monday night, the Lions and the Seahawks hook up from Century League Field, and Marshawn Lynch exited in the second quarter of their game here this past week. Now, they won it easily against the Chicago Bears, so you have to think whether or not it was an actual real re-aggravation or if the Seahawks just saw that they were definitely going to win the game and pulled Lynch because they wanted to be extra cautious as he was coming into the game a little bit banged up as well. Really remains to be seen. I don't suspect we'll know much, obviously, until the practice reports come out. And because the Seahawks play on Monday, we won't get our first glimpse at Seahawks and practice reports until Thursday. So we have some time here to uh, look and see on Marshawn Lynch. But with the extra day to recover, you have to think Lynch, who's a gamer, will likely be out there if he's ready to go and is up to up to par here. Because the Lions, despite the fact not looking good, and the, despite the fact that they're 9.5 to 10-point dogs in this one, they still have the ability, which they haven't shown yet this year, but they have the ability to put up some points, even if they are on the road here. So if Marshawn Lynch is ready to go, you have to think that that will improve the Seahawks' odds, possibly push them up above double figures in this one if they get him uh, ready to go here for week number four. But that'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out some of my other NFL content coming out later in the week as well as we start ramping up our NBA coverage the season starting just about a month from now. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.